that uh, it is uh, needed. Okay, so that uh, when object to discussion comes uh, on this, uh, some object to gets triggered. When object to discussion, object to discussion, how starts uh, biology when object to discussion is going on with you, object to material is given. So I will provide that object to material. Okay, ma'am, that's <coughs> that is the explanation about the pattern. Next topic. One nostril, one nostril. 
in one plus two. It's two or six. So this is an oscillator also connected to pass. That's why what I am saying. It is a common chamber for food. Food reaches to the pass. And there is no nostrils A entering the pass. That is why we say muscular chamber. Muscular chamber. It is a common passage for food and A. Okay. So much for that. Oral cavity. The oral cavity. The oral cavity. Oral cavity. Leaves in the A. Leaves. Leaves in the A short part called pharynx. Short part called pharynx. It is a common passage for food. Food. And A. Pharynx is a common passage for food and A. See here. The food is rich in pharynx. The A is rich in pharynx. See how Lungs, lungs. See you. This is called the trachea. This is called epiglottis. This is called glottis. Glottis. This is called glottis. Glottis. Come to the point. So when the food is entered here, pharynx region, this is a glottis, acts as a lid, acts as a lid. Glottis, glottis, acts as a lid, acts as a lid. To prevent the entry of food. To prevent the entry of food into the Epiglottis. When we we'll take food at that time, the food is reaching to the pharynx region. At that moment, this glottis, glottis uh, covers this uh, epiglottis. This is the trachea. This is epiglottis. This epiglottis region is the uh, arm. Above the epiglottis region, acts as a lid covers. At that time, the food is entered into the stomach. When the food is uh, passed from the lid, at that time, this lid. This region will be opened at the time from the most oxygen is entered into the lungs. Okay, so a cartilaginous plant.
a cartilaginous flap a cartilaginous flap called glottis a cartilaginous flap called glottis this is called glottis which acts as a lid above the epiglottis to prevent the entry of food during swallowing okay that's this is the explanation one second this point so this is called a cartilaginous flap a cartilaginous flap a cartilaginous flap is called glottis glottis which this is which acts as a lid acts as a lid lid cover it prevents the entry of food material into the epiglottis during swallowing when we will swallow at the time this glottis acts as a lid at the time the food passes into the stomach when the food is passed through the canal region immediately this lid will be open at the time the oxygen goes into the epiglottis trachea bronchial bronchus tracheus this is the respiration part that we see on respiration part okay so this is the cartilaginous flap is called glottis which acts as a lid to prevent the entry of to prevent the entry of food into the glottis during swallowing swallowing okay pharynx pharynx consists of voluntary muscles to assist swallowing pharynx 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 consists of voluntary muscles voluntary muscles to assist to assist Swallowing to assist in swallowing in the pharynx region. Pharynx region. The pharynx region consists of voluntary muscles. The pharynx region consists of voluntary muscles. Those voluntary muscles assist swallowing process. Swallowing process. That's the right. next one. The pharynx consists of lymphoid tissue lymphoid lymphoid tissue lymphoid tissue the pharynx consists of lymphoid tissue the lymphoid tissue is also called tonsils tonsils so this region this region this region consists of lymphoid tissue the lymphoid tissue is also called tonsils the pharynx consists of four tonsils those tonsils are three different types those tonsils are three different types those are tonsils are three types one is one is pharyngeal tonsils pharyngeal tonsils
Okay, the pharynx consists of the tonsils. Here, tonsils in this region. In this region, tonsils. Those tonsils are the three different types. Pharyngeal tonsils. Pharyngeal tonsils also called adenoid tonsils. Actually, these these are not there. But object to discussion. For object to discussion, you have to learn. Okay, so pharyngeal tonsils also called adenoid tonsils. Palatine tonsils, a pair of palatine tonsils, a pair of lingual tonsils. These three support the pharynx function. That that is one one step. Next, the pharynx is divided into three parts. The pharynx, the pharynx is a common chamber for food and air, I say. So this pharynx is divided into The pharynx is divided into three parts. The pharynx is divided into three parts. What is? Naso pharynx. Naso pharynx. First one is the naso pharynx. Second one is the oro pharynx. Second one is. Oropharynx. Second one is oropharynx. Third one is laryngopharynx. The pharynx region. This pharynx region. Pharynx region. Soft upper. Upper soft portion is the nasal pharynx. Middle oropharynx. Lower laryngopharynx. This is the statement of pharynx. The pharynx consists of three parts. One is nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx. These three also supports its muscular chamber. Muscular chamber. So here you must listen. Clot is a cartilaginous flap that acts as a lid cover. Muchike. So it will cover the epiglottis. Then, like this cuts. Then the food reaches here. At that moment, here it cuts. Epiglottis all cuts. Then the food is passed into the stomach through esophagus. After passing passing food, the glottis. Then. From the nose, oxygen. From the nose, oxygen enters into the lungs through epiglottis, trachea, left bronchi, right bronchi, left lung, right. That is the respiration. About this topic specifically, again I will teach on respiration topic. This is the explanation about the pharynx. Okay. So some someone asked. Some doubts. So those doubts are being clarified. So in charting some doubts, I have got it. So Ishwari, Aishwarya, Aishwari, Kalburgi. Then mastication process. The mastication process that we will discuss on process of digestion. One more. Mastication. The process of mastication. That we will discuss on the process of digestion. I am not explaining the process of digestion. I am explaining the parts of digestion. Next, how many muscular organs present in mouth, sir? Yes, how many muscular organs in mouth? The only one muscular organ that is tongue. Only one in our mouth, buccal cavity or oral cavity. Only one muscular organ that is tongue. The tongue helps in mixing the. Saliva with the food, taste detection, deglutition, and speaking. These are all the doubts that you have ex expressed. Next, now I wanted to take attendance who are coming and who are not coming. Okay, see here, I will take uh, attendance.
Aditi, Aishwarya. Basras Angadi. Basras Angadi. Bhagya Chinmay. Bhagya Chinmay. Deepa. 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 Deepa, Deepi, Para. Para. Gayatri. Gayatri Puchesh Puchesh Okay, Mark, today meeting, meeting session is finished. I cannot take attendance, sir. All 38 members uh, attendance taking means in meanwhile time finished. Principal sir said that uh, must take attendance. So I am taking. Okay, so if uh, within two minutes, uh, it's going to be finished.